Hi, welcome everyone to Cedar Creek Estate Vineyard and Wineries Cellar Door. This is the Queensland Wine Centre. My name is Judy and I'm going to be walking you through our virtual wine tasting. We're pretty excited about this venture online and we hope you're going to enjoy it as much as we are presenting it to you. So let's begin. The first thing is our wine tasting glass. Now, this is an international wine tasting glass and it's shaped like this for various reasons. Number one, it's fluted to the top because, and it has a stem, please note. So if it's got a stem, the glass, this is called the winemaker's pinch. So two fingers underneath, not sticking out, we're not drinking tea, we're drinking wine. So tuck them in and that feels really solid in your hand. Now why do I ask you to do that? Because number two, when you pour your wine into your glass, I want you to look for a few things. Number one is the colour. Make sure there's no floaties in there. Number two, we want to make sure that you can agitate the surface of the wine to bring up the aromas of the wine. And that's why this is fluted. Now, if you do this, that does nothing, right? That's rubbish. So you really need to stick this little honker of yours inside the glass and smell. Now, why do I ask you to do this? The reason is the more you agitate the surface and smell the wine, it starts to get your mouth watering. And that's really important because your saliva glands start to water, it prepares your mouth for the taste. Now, did you know 70% of what you taste is in your smell? So it is important for you to do that step. Remember, we are wine tasting, not wine drinking. The steps here are quite different. So then once you have agitated the surface and smelt and you've got your lovely mouth watering and it's saying, give it to me, give it to me. I really need to taste then you taste. I'm demonstrating this with a little bit of water, but you don't need to, of course, you need to do it with your hand. So what we do is we agitate. If you can't get that wrist action happening, sit at your table and do it on the bench. Now, if you cannot or do not have the availability of a wine tasting glass like this, you may have different glasses at home that you can definitely use. I've got different examples here. This is just a stemmed, simple, small wine glass for white wine. And this is a fluted glass for champagne. Now you may have either of these glasses available to you at home and not have necessarily a wine tasting glass. That's okay, that's not a problem so long as you can hold it by the stem, do the swirling, do the smelling, and then of course do the tasting. Now, when we taste, we don't, I don't want to see this. You're all giggling now because you know who does taste like that. The reason being, when you down the hatch like that, you have a sour taste bud in the middle of your tongue at the back. And when you scull the wine like that, it all tastes sour to you. So if you're going to do a home tasting, either on your own or gather your friends and family that live in your home, then I suggest you do this. You always pour enough in your glass for two sips. All right, then the first sip, you just hold in your mouth. Now, I have people that I have tasted for years and years, and they come and they say, oh, I know all about wine tasting. This is what you do. And they take a mouthful of wine and they go. <laughs> You're laughing again, I know. Well, that's not correct either. That's a load of bull dust. So, first taste, first sip. Mm. 
just hold it in your mouth for a few seconds. It will roll over your tongue wherever your taste buds need to be tasted. So you have sour and sweet taste bud right at the tip of your tongue at the front. You've got salt and bitter down the sides and your sour is in the middle at the back. Do you know there's no taste buds in the middle of your tongue? None. So if you ever have someone in the family who has a, a body piercing and maybe a, a little anchor, you'll always see it in the middle of the tongue. No pain, no taste buds, right? I say no pain, no brain. So we shall move forward. That really is the basics of a wine taste. You always judge your wine on the second sip. So we have discussed the first sip, you hold it in your mouth a few seconds, that's it. The second sip, you just drink normally. Oh, that's delicious. Or no, that's not for me, and put it aside. But you won't have those problems at home because you have the availability to order your wines that we've prepared for you in packs, ready for you for home. So we have a sweet pack, a dry pack of whites, and we have a red pack only, including a fortified wine. We have a general pack, which includes dry styles, sweet styles, and fortified wines. Then we have a Cedar Creek only fortified pack, and we have our Moffat Dale Ridge liqueur fortifies. So we have several packs for you to choose from. And after this short video, you will be able to select by the use of the buttons below, which exact pack suits your tastes. So click away, enjoy, and continue to whine a bit because you're gonna feel better. Thank you.